Okay, that still sounds too staged. Oh, that was a bad idea. Why did I drink the energy drink? <laughs> already, I guess all this, all this caffeine and sugar is kicking in already, so might as well just speak it out. It's gonna sound staged a bit. But, hey, what can I do? That's what caffeine does, man. Maybe it turns you into another person, you know. As they say, or as like what most people would say when they're like addicted to coffee. Well, I wouldn't say really coffee itself, but you know, just the caffeine. But they're like, don't talk to me until I have my morning coffee. I feel like it's something like that, you know. You're like, <laughs> but then you're like, because you're in a better mood. Well, I was already in a good mood, and now I'm just like cracked out of my freaking mind because of the caffeine, and I'm scared. <laughs> but anyways, um, base has as you can see, or if you clicked here, I am the Fluffmeister, the one and only Fluffmeister. Um, and yeah, I guess this is just gonna be an introduction video of who I am. I'm gonna be playing some Rocket League. If you guys just have me in the background, well, that's cool. I'm not really going to do crazy stuff on this. You know, you hear me go like, because I did some pretty insane stuff. Uh, what's my game doing? Okay, it put me into a match. But yeah, I guess I could tell you a quick origin story about my name. Fluffmeister. It's... Wow. He... That person knows how to play. Um, but yeah, my... My name... Okay. Is everyone okay? Well, that sucked. <laughs> I just did it because I feel like whoever was... Well, my teammates, they weren't really feeling it, so I just did that to go along with it. You know, tell about the vibes, man. A feeling everyone in the room is like having real negative energy, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's a combination between two, between two names. Um, oh my goodness, I have two bots on my team. Uh, all right, I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna try to focus up on gameplay here. Okay, do I have okay? Yeah, that's right. I can speak bucket. Let's go. Boom. Boom. There it anyways, Fluffmeister. It, yeah, it's a combination of two um two names. Fluff, well, that was given to me by my middle school friend. Um, I'm assuming he gave me that nickname because of my hair. Ah, uh, I thought it was gonna flake out. Yeah, it was given to me by a middle school friend. This was like, what, back in 2010 or so? Yeah, I want to say 2010, or 2011, I don't know, but out of the blue, he was just calling me, Hey, Fluffy! Fluffy! And I was like, who's he calling Fluffy? So I just turned around, and he's like, yeah, I knew you were going to turn around. I'm like, what's the name for? He's like, because of your hair. And I had really long hair. Or at least I was growing out my hair. 
I was growing out my hair at the time. Just because I've always liked or wanted to know how it looked like with long hair. From the man who brought fantasy to life comes a hair product born into reality. Beauty has a face, perfection a name. And now, you can experience a shampoo worthy of only one man's hair. But yeah, point is, he started calling me fluffy because of them. Like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. So it's stuck with me ever since. And up until high school, I didn't realize who Gabriel Iglesias was. Well, that's when I found out who Gabriel Iglesias was. And I'm like, oh, okay. And to those of, and to those of you who are not aware who Gabriel Iglesias is, um, he's a Hispanic comedian or Latino comedian. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird when it comes to. I'm not even gonna say labels, but like identifying a person. Um, it's kind of difficult, or at least with I find it somewhat difficult. But yeah, point is like um, he he has a skit. He has a skit where it's called the Five Levels of Fatness, uh, which is big, husky, fluffy, and damn. Is it? I forgot. And I'm like, hmm. I wonder if my friend didn't do that, or if he didn't have any other intentions of calling me fluffy. <laughs> But either way, it was cool though. I like the ring of it. And ever since then, that stuck with me. And up until then, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just change my name to... I, sh I should just switch it to something else. And from there on, I went by Fluffy the Metalhead, just because I do like metal music. I grew up with it. From like the glam days, thrash, to the go-to classic bands. Like Iron Maiden. Metallica. Yeah, yeah. Motorhead. You know. The Pioneers. The Pioneers. Um. And yeah. And what part am I missing again? Oh yeah, Meister. Um. And pretty much I was always around with my cousins and we would always be watching <laughs> those kinds of movies. Um, so the Meister comes from a character called, um, from, from a character called Stifler. And he goes, well his nickname, he goes by the Stiff Meister. Stiff Meister! And I'm like, hmm, Meister, that's, that has a nice ring to it. So let me just put that, let me steal that real quick. And put it into my name, so I'm like, Fuff, Meister. And I like that, so I think, or I plan on keeping that, that name for a long time. Until I hear something better. But yeah, that's pretty much my origin story. Guess I could give you a brief history. A brief video game history. I didn't really play video games that much growing up, just because I didn't really have the time for it. I was always school, homework, and catching public transportation just to get to school and back to school. And flip! <laughs> I missed. Nice. So yeah, so pretty much the only time I did play video games was when I had my Game Boy. When I would somewhat play play it while on the bus. Or I was that one kid that's sitting in the back of the class just not paying attention and just doing something else as always. Drawing, doodling, 
but in this case, playing the Game Boy, or just playing video games. Um, so that was one part of it. Oh no, lies! Way before the Game Boy, um, at home, I, my parents had the Nintendo 64, and because of that, that's how I learned my ABCs and 1s and 3s by playing with Elmo. I'll post a picture of it. I'll post a picture of the both games. <laughs> I also played, what is it? This one Winnie the Pooh game, which to this day, there's this one night nighttime level where you play as Tigger, the tiger, and you're just bouncing around in like trees, like these people trees are trying to like get you. I don't know, but I remember that level specifically gave me nightmares. <laughs> but yeah, and then since then, I guess I felt bold enough to play. Ah, how did I miss that? And why did I mess it up for my teammate too? Um, then I played this game called Road Rash, which it's um it's a biker version of Mario Kart. That game plus um, the Spider Man Nintendo 64. Yeah, Spider Man for the N64. I was a huge Spider Man fan. Well, I guess you could say I still am a fan of that superhero, but not as much as I was before. Like, I had action figures. I had action figures. I even had a trash can bucket. Spider-Man. I had plushies. I had. I was that kid. That I was. If I was. If I like one thing, I was really obsessive about that thing. So I was obsessive with Spider-Man and Pokemon. Dude, where are my Pokemon fans at? <laughs> you guys remember the Poke Rap? They should update the Poke Rap. Instead of the 151 Pokemon, they should um make a whole rap of like everything else. Of like I don't know how many. I'm assuming it's close to like what a thousand, if not. Okay. But yeah, they should update the Poke Rap song. That would be pretty sick if they do. But yeah, for Pokemon, oh my, I had action features. I had backpacks, plushies, backpacks. Right here, I have. <clears throat> Never mind. I thought I had my webcam on. I'll turn it on in a bit afterwards or after this game, and I'll show you. Oh, my bad. That was a little too rough. That was a little too hard. There you go. Soft? I mainly focus on water type Pokemon. <gasps> I got lucky! I got lucky! But yeah, um, where was I again? Pokemon and video games. Ooh. Watch this. Blink. Play yeah, Nintendo 64. I always wanted to play um um Pokemon Snap. Is it Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I think it was called Pokemon Snap.
Oh, you got it. You got it. Trans, trans, trans. Trans, trans, trans. What do you need? Pretty, pretty, pretty much you make Corian right here. Got one of that. Let me exit. Again. Damn it. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm for sure. Squirtle, which is my favorite Pokemon of all time. And you have to go with a ghost type. Come on, it's a ghost type. Gotta go with Gengar, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, this is what I look like. <laughs> I wonder, can you see anything else? Yeah, you can see my little collections. <laughs> yeah. I got Lemmy, rest in peace, James Hetfield. And come on, the dude. I, I can't really say anything about that. It's just the name on it, so I'm gonna be like, what? The dude! Yeah. Got my little Eddie. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got Banner's game right here in the back, too. Got the pick of Destiny right here, behind the good classic cartoon, Chilly Willy. Come on. I used to have like the other fin picks. But yeah, back, back to the gameplay, just wanted to quickly show you guys how it looked like, stuff like that, I don't know. Well, if you've seen my videos, you know how I look like already, but if this is your first video, hello. Um, yeah. So, after the Nintendo 64, I got... No, I played my uh, with my uncle. He let me play his, um, his, his PS2. And the game we would always play on the PS2 was Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal Black. If you guys are not familiar with that game, it's the first Battle Royale game. Yeah, we played that that one really cartoony car game and I don't remember if it was during the same time but my neighbors they also had um, a PS2 and that's when I found out about um skateboarding in a way skateboarding in cars I do not remember which edition of the game but I know with them, I would be playing a lot of Midnight Club. And Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk Underground 1, the first one. Ah, that was nice. Cool. But yeah. And since then, I guess I became a car fanatic because of Midnight Club. And it was just, um, it was just the hydraulics that got me, man. You know, lowrider. And then flash forward to middle school when I had the PSP. The first one. Man, I absolutely loved that thing. All because I guess it was a game changer where you could see movies. I know on the PSP you were able to watch DVDs and stuff like that, but like... They made movies on the PSP? Or they somehow find a way to make movies? Or like, turn movies into that specific format? And I was like, wow. So I was obsessed with the PSP just because of that. And on that, I would play... Tony Hawk Project 8, FIFA, Twisted Metal Black... What was it? Unleashed? Something like that. No, Twisted Metal Unleashed. Something like that. Something along those lines. Wrestling. 
like SmackDown vs. Raw. And what was another unique game? Oh, Midnight Midnight Club LA Edition or LA Remix. And I had the. And when it came to movies, I had Chris Rock. Bigger and blacker and something. The Longest Yard, which is probably, which is one of my favorite movies of Adam Sandler. I love great um great lineup like, oh my god he's not talking about nintendo 64 game boys psp oh and i had the nintendo ds as well i guess you could say it's like the first edition or is it the first generation of the ds um i when i went over um legend of zelda um the hourglass um, game came out. That's the um, that's the edition of the DS that I got. And honestly, I love the DS as well. Specific and once again, I'd be playing mostly Pokemon games on it. But I was really obsessed with Mystery Dungeons. Probably one of the most underrated Pokemon games, in my opinion. I've played um, Pokemon Rangers. Um. I didn't really beat the game, but I've played it, played most of it. Um, so the way how I would find out about games, I would trade them with my friends. Even though my parents would get mad at me because, you know, why are you doing this? We're spending money on this just so you can trade or, so, or such and such loses it or they don't give it back. I'm like, I understand that part. As an adult, I understand it because, you know, it's they, they bought me that stuff with their money. And I didn't really know the concept of money. Well, I mean, I did know how much it cost, what items cost, but I didn't know, like, all the effort that would be put into making that much money. Or into certain amounts of money, you know. But anyways, I was really obsessive with that, and once again, which Pokemon was I when I would be playing Mystery Dungeons? I was Piplup. Yeah, that's right. Water type. I've played three. I've played that game three times. My boost. I've played. I've played that game a lot. So I believe that's um. I'm trying to remember who was like the final boss. Oh, okay, it's um. Gia, Gia something. Um, once a, if I remember the name, I'll just post a picture of it. But it was like draft, no, not a draft type. It was like an. It looked pretty spooky. Oh, that's all I could say. He would control time, <gasps> time, time, time. Dialga, there you go. Dialga was one of the main bosses. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've played. I had the Nintendo DS for that one. And then up until now. I got my PC, and I guess you can really say I've been gaming since since I bought it, which was last year. And my only excuse of getting a PC was because uh, was because I had to do online school or online classes. And I'm like, let me just get a gaming PC. You know, I could play games on it, and I can still take care of my school duties. So I'm like, why not? <laughs> and here I am. I guess one thing I could also talk about is like my inspiration, or like what, what um, what made me want to do this, make videos. Inspirations would be um, they do obviously one of one of um. One of the biggest reasons, him, his group, the goons, Soup, McNasty, Blarg, oh come on. And then we also have like, you know, other, their other friends, Smitty, Cryos Gaming, and then two other people, um, would be Terrorizer and Big Jiggly Panda. 
obviously they all have like their own sense of humor, but it's pretty similar to mine, and I like that. And you c and I guess like their videos is what made me want to start doing this. Um, I had thought about doing merch just because I don't know way before this I wanted to launch my own company brand, um, but I never really thought about what to name it up until I guess I have this this platform. Um, so I said, you know what? Let me make merch and see. So I might get some samples or. But yeah, make some samples actually this year. And if it's good enough for me, then I will happily release some of that stuff. For the most part, I'm just gonna focus on hoodies. Yeah, it's gonna be mostly hoodies or anything related to long sleeves. Um, yeah, merch, so that might be a possible thing. Um, and other, I guess content wise, you can expect a lot of gameplay between me and my friends. On here, um, every now and then I might do a solo, solo game. Um, I don't know, I'm still debating whether I should continue streaming or not. Like, it feels odd. Since I'm back from vacation, it feels odd to me streaming again. I don't know, I'll probably think, figure something out about that. Yeah. Other than that, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Holy shit! 44 minutes worth. This is longer than I expected. That's what she said! <laughs> trying to keep it short but since I lack boom out of here since I don't I guess I don't really know how to approach this I guess I was just too awkward so I was too awkward about it or thinking too much so, oh yeah I'll plug in all my socials down in the link below as well as screenshots <laughs> Here on screen, here in the video somewhere. Go in! But yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, just want to appreciate all of you guys. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe. And yeah, if you want to like stay up to date with me or you want to know more about me uh, once again i'll just link i'll link and post my socials on screen and at the bottom of the description and i appreciate all the support